welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is priscilla today we're going to be doing the french v tip and this is the french tip the french v tip okay the next colors we're going to go ahead and be using is dark pink and clear so we're going to go ahead and add our two. so these are actually full coverage tips that i got off of aliexpress they were very cheap but the only thing i did not like about them is that they're flimsy from one end oops and this box i got it at dollar tree and the labels i got them at dollar tree as well i just cut them up and taped them and just laminated them and yeah so these were like this they were, they were very thin from here they, they work very good as tips since they're thin tips are mainly thin from like the starting point and from then they're a little thicker but these are very thin from here and they're a little bit thicker from the tip here so they work very good as tips here so now that we have our tip and everything we're gonna go ahead and add some base coat on there hopefully I don't get copyrighted just because my neighbors I live far from where that music is actually coming from but I guess you're really having a whole party when we should be in quarantine you know then let's go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds and I'll be back. Okay, the base coat has not cured. Okay, so we're going to grab dark pink here. So it's very, very, this one I can tell right away that it's going to be very sticky just because you can just tell. Look at it. And here we're going to do the same exact thing. We're just going to pat and we're just going to make a V with it. I don't know if it's even as in but it's kind of doing the V, the V cut. I mean the, the temperature change on some places, like right there. So now, lastly, this is almost the shape that I want. I'm just going to try to perfect it way more at the edges here. And so this is what we have. You can tell the temperature change is going on here. It kind of looks a little lighter and then it gets darker down here. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds and we'll be back. Okay, so now that it has cured, this is how it looks. Like I said, I like to grab my spray bottle and a lengthy wipe. And we're just going to spray twice or once. And to remove that tacky layer there. So now we're going to grab our file and we're just going to try to perfect that V cut a little bit more. This is what we have after filing and all that stuff. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just spray it once or twice. So now we're gonna grab the clear one. Like I said, it's extremely hot, so this is why the color temperature changed. And now we're gonna grab some clear. I don't even know. The I got these at Walmart. I said it was confetti, but I'm pretty sure it's Mylar. Is it called Mylar? I can't remember. But it's just very... So I, ha I have a lot of the a lot of these that I got, and I don't, I don't, I have no idea how to use them. So I'm just gonna go in and try to see what the heck we can do with that. 
and then I'm gonna be using these white butterflies here and so we're just gonna grab some of these and we're gonna place them on there so the way I like to encapsulate is if you're using tips and forms you can do this the same exact way you shouldn't affect it at all I've tried it but on some people it can be a little different it may not work but for me it did so I like to grab some base coat here and I like to place it on the tip or on the form whatever you like like I said it, it should work on forms as well I've tried it and it does work I just don't want to make the nail too thick so that is what I try to do or you can make a very thin thin layer of poly gel but like I said this way it's way easier so now what I like to do is I like to grab a brush or you can grab some of these as well a wax picker I don't even know if a wax picker works with these so I'm first gonna go ahead and just grab one so it does work I don't know if it's gonna even see that it's just so hard to focus on it and I'm just gonna place it all over there So now we have that stuck on there, we're going to grab the butterflies and then move some stuff we don't need here right now. So now I'm going to grab the butterflies and I think I'm only going to put two or three in there. So I don't know how to do this either ways, I can put it like this, I don't know if you can even see how the butterfly is face facing, I can put it like this or like this. So now I'm going to go ahead and just pop that in my lamp for 30 to 60 seconds. Okay, now we have that done and cured. Now we're going to grab our clear. And I don't know if this clear is very clear because I have a Model 1's Builder Gel and I have a Model 1's Poly Gel and it actually turns foggy. Once you place it on there, it's clear, but once you fall on all of that, it becomes very foggy. So let's hope this is clear so it doesn't ruin our design here. I'm gonna just grab this much. Oops, I don't know if my brush, my brush, my brush, my brush seems very clean at the moment. So I don't know if it's me, but I feel like I can't pronounce the word brush. I don't like the way I say it. A lot of words I can't pronounce well. I don't know why. I know English more than I know Spanish, but yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a little bit more and voila. Now let's go ahead and just place it on there. Oops, this is extremely sticky, like I said. I'm trying to work with it, I really am. So far it's so good, this polish just doesn't seem that bad like I can, like I last remember. So we're gonna go ahead and just pull that upward. Okay, so this is the best that I can do at the, at this point. It's so hard to work with, like I said. It'll be extremely easy if you have a very good poly gel brush, poly gel kit, poly gel 
slip solution, base coat, all that good stuff. It'll be extremely easy for you. I just wanted to find a use for this polish. I didn't want to go to waste. It was like $40 when I bought it. So. Okay, now that we have this done, we're going to go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds. And we'll be back. Okay, now that we have it cured, let's go ahead and remove that tacky layer. So like I said, I like to spray. And then grab a lint free wipe and just remove all that. I feel tacky layers on the twice again. I'm go under there too. And now we're gonna go ahead and just file. I mean, now that I filed, let's do the best as I can, possibly can get it to. We're gonna go ahead and now puff. So now I'd like to go ahead and remove this dust again. I'm gonna go to our buffer and we're gonna puff. Okay, now that I buffed and all that good stuff and filed it to the shape that I want, even though it's not the perfect shape, we're gonna go ahead and make it seem like it is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of Uncle again. And under the side, when it's clear, I usually like to clean that up because it has all a lot of dust and stuff there. So we're gonna go there at the top and at the bottom, and right away you guys can tell it got clear. Gonna clean that underside there and over here. And I'm still gonna add some more stuff on this one. It just seems a little too simple for me. So they're both buff now. So it look. Now let's go ahead and top coat here. Side as well. Now this now that this one has been cured, we're gonna go ahead and add some stripping tape. So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and add top coat, and then that is done. That's how both of them look now. And yeah, overall, I really liked how these look. They look very great and very pretty. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this one this this is how it looks and i overall loved how this one turned out this one um, not so much okay guys that was it for today's video hopefully this video was helpful for you guys don't forget to like this video subscribe 
and comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!